Anybody else have a question? Ms. Miller. I'd like to thank you, uh, Dr. Scott, for coming. And I'm very, um, I can probably sit and listen to you expand more uh, with, with your vast knowledge. It's been, a, uh, in my opinion. Okay. My question is, I've got it on. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've got it on. Um, since it's falling down to this issue of the terminology of weaknesses, <clears throat> uh, assuming that this board will vote to add weaknesses, uh, strength and weaknesses back in uh, from some of the uh, things we're hearing, what is your take on that? And do you feel that um, the, um, uh, and, in other words, how do you, see that falling out, in other words? Well, I think it would be very unfortunate if the board did restore the strengths and weaknesses language. This is about textbooks. This is about two years from now, what will textbook publishers be required to put into textbooks in order to sell them in Texas? That's really what this is about. Um, I have yet to meet a textbook editor who wants to produce a bad book. And what I think will happen from the few editors I've spoken to is that they'll produce a Texas edition that will have any kind of nonsense you want in it because they want to sell books in Texas. This is a big market. But, other, but students in other states are not going to be inflicted with a lot of, of fake weaknesses of evolution like Haeckel's embryos or these other kinds of things that keep being brought up over and over. And I think that would be very detrimental to, to Texas students. And I would hope that the board would listen to the scientific and educational expertise and remain with the standards as their, with standards C3A as it is written today. My other last question is how do you respond to this, uh, what is it, uh, academic freedom concept, in other words, that seems to be moving through the legislature and other legislators? Oh, oh the, uh, I'm sorry. There, there's two contexts for that. Um, in the context of our discussions yeah, here, the there has been uh, the question raised that if we don't have strengths and weaknesses language in the standards, somehow students will lose the ability to question yes. teachers. Yes. Uh, that just seems a non sequitur. I can't see how that's related whatsoever. Teachers have a great deal of freedom within a class to uh, bring up issues, to answer student questions. Students have a lot of freedom in the class to question uh, the material in the book, and they will continue to do that, I think, as any teacher will, will, will attest. At the same time, um, the idea that somehow, if you are not teaching bad science in the name of, of academic freedom, you are disadvantaging students is, is ludicrous. Students are disadvantaged if they are taught material that is not accurate and that does not reflect the scientific consensus. We're talking about high school students here. If the authors of Explore Evolution or the other creationist uh, uh, weaknesses of evolution uh, uh, productions want to make their case to the scientific community that they have legitimate arguments against evolution, let them come and talk to people like Professor uh, De Lausanne. Let them come and talk to people at the University of Texas who are scientists who can debate these is issues with them. Don't balance this culture war on the back of high school students. This is an inappropriate place for that. If the, if the criticisms of evolution become established science, fine. That's great. It'll trickle down into high school. Mr. It Mr. Craig, again. 